Hello YouTube, Joe Holbrook, the cloud tech guy here. I wanted to just let you all know first that the CompTIA Cloud Plus Bootcamp has been released. This covers CVO-002. This is the course that will cover the new Cloud Plus being released here very shortly. With that said, let's go through what we'll cover in the bootcamp. Welcome aboard. We're going to talk about CVO-002, the CompTIA Cloud Plus, specifically the bootcamp I just released on Udemy. I'm really excited to talk about Cloud Plus. I've been a technical trainer with that specific class for quite a while. I'm a previous CompTIA subject matter expert, and I've also done train the trainer as well. So I know this subject area pretty well. When you take the Udemy course, you're going to learn pretty much everything you need to know to successfully ramp up for the exam. Now, just to be aware that a lot of folks seem to take these CompTIA courses on Udemy with the expectation that we're going to give you the answers to the test. That is not how I work anyway, so just be aware that's not going to happen. I am here to give you enough information if you are going to study you would be able to probably pass the exam without much effort. Of course, it's not realistic to promise everybody will. If you don't have the prerequisites, then, you know, again, that's your call to determine if you want to spend your time and your $10 to take the course. I'll leave it up to you. With that said, let's go ahead and see what we're going to talk about in this course. This is over 12 hours of material. Now, if I were to teach the course directly, this course would be approximately a $3,500 course. It's a five-day course. There would be labs and everything involved. What I did is I streamlined you know, the content that we would cover in five days down to about two days or so, or a day and a half, uh, let's say. Now, I'll continually add to the course uh, if, if I feel it makes sense to. So the course itself is going to cover the domains that are covered. Now, what I'd like to just confirm, the CompTIA Cloud Plus objectives is how this course was developed. When you develop any kind of course for a certification exam, you want to make sure that you develop the content according to the objectives. One of the things I noticed about the objectives for this specific exam was that a lot of redundancy was there. And that could be good because that means less you need to study. However, um, it took a little time to work through it and, you know, make sure I did take uh, the beta exam. So, and, you know, with that said, I have a pretty good feel of what you should expect. And as you're aware, I'm a previous SME for a couple of the CompTIA exams, and this one included. However, I did not have any participation in this exam, so I really don't know, you know, how they, they went about developing it. I'll just leave it at that. With that said, there are some significant changes between the first version of the test and the second version of the test. And I'll cover some of the differences in the course. There's five domains. Domain one, which is configuration and deployment. Domain two, which is cloud security. Domain three is maintenance. Domain four is management. And domain five is troubleshooting. Then I also go and I go through additional resources that I think are, are useful. 
some of these questions I typically get all the time, so I decided to make a separate section for Comptio Resources, how to get discount vouchers, what happens when you pass a test, continue on ag credits, all that good stuff you could expect. Now, with the objectives, uh, we also go through the introduction on what we're going to cover. I go through the objectives here. Domain 1 has a fair amount of areas we cover. Uh, again, feel free uh, to look at Udemy and look at the course content and see if that's something of interest. With that said, I hope to see you on board the CompTIA Plus CV. O dash O O two boot camp. Let's get you certified in CompTIA Cloud Plus.